Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of my TFC Let's Play. You can see I actually have this skin on. Um, yesterday was TFC Tuesday and I kind of made that skin just to kind of, uh, you know, get in, in a sort of a festive mood. Everyone else was had the, um, uh, kind of the themed skins as well. And today is actually... Today is actually the 24th of December uh, when I'm recording this, so I guess it is kind of thematic. It has been a very long time since I've recorded and uploaded um, an episode of this. It was, I think, like November 10th or something that episode 3 went up, and it's it was just, it was really tough, you know? It was like uh, midterms, like, kind of just <laughs> drifted right into, hang on, my music's a little loud, um, right into finals and so I was just just busy with life um, didn't get much development done didn't didn't I didn't play much TFC even um, it was only recently that I started getting back into TFC Tuesday and I <laughs> felt like uh, now that I'm on winter break I've kind of like held off on this for for a little too long so now we're starting back up um, it will take me a little bit of Adjustment. There have been a number of changes to TFC since I last uh, since um, I last played with you guys. I mean, I do know a few of them because uh, I've been trying to keep up to date at least a little bit with the change log as things were happening while I was trying to study. Um, but the, there's just a few like little things that I'm gonna warn you guys, and they may catch me off guard. But we're, we'll all figure them out pretty quickly. And if anything gets too weird, I will just, you know, take a look at the code, or the, uh, the commit log. Alright, so, um, where are we, what are we doing? Uh, we have our nice house, um, some zombie friends, it's 8th of June, so we've been at this for like a month, agricultural prospecting, at our farm over there. A nice little pond. I'm starting to remember this a little more. Okay, that music is still a little... Anyway. Um, okay, if you guys will give me a moment to try and uh, get myself oriented here, I'll be right back with, you know, something interesting to do for this episode. See you then. Okay guys, welcome back. It's uh, just getting to be the next morning. And I've kind of caught up with um, what I was doing last episode. We went mining. We got 20 pieces of native copper, each 25 units. And if I were just to use this on its own, that would give me 5 ingots of uh, copper metal. Um, which I would be able to put into 5 molds and uh, cast 5 copper tools. However, I do have four pieces of small cassiterite, and each small cassiterite is ten units. And so that means that each piece would be able to make um, one, in a, one ingot of bronze, like these. So if I actually had five of these, I could substitute those five for two of these, and I could actually make five ingots of bronze instead of copper. So that is going to be my goal, to find one more piece of... Uh, Consider it so that we can make our copper ore go that extra distance. Um, so I guess we're gonna kind of head out this this way in the direction of this uh, waypoint I have for uh, considerate. Now maybe I'll just uh, keep you guys here for a little bit just to get reacquainted with the world. Okay. I don't think it was too far away either. <laughs> Could be like just dead wrong though, you know? Okay. Oh, here we have the ocean over here, I remember that. Ooh, a few crops. Good to know. This is Gabbro, right? Yep, yeah, I believe it's Gabbro. Back. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> oh, we have some Garnier, right? Nickel. We really don't need that right now, though. <laughs> A little more of it. Yep. Ooh, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to fall down that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aware of this by now. Um, you know, I'm 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 a developer for Terraforma Craft, um, and I like to think that you know I'm good at problem solving, you know, but I am not. Oh, hey, the marker is back here. Terribly skilled with um, playing Minecraft itself. <laughs> I, uh, I'm the one who falls down a lot and, you know, gets turned around and smacked by zombies and all that stuff. So, I don't know. Alright, so my considerate marker was here, so we should be looking in this area for the considerate. Um, it could be anywhere really mixed in with this garnier right hmm I don't believe I have any other considerate oh here's a piece right here nice okay so that does verify that that waypoint is valid hey is this another one Hey, it looks like we actually have the, uh, I think I remember coming across this last time, the actual ore vein. Well, that's cool. Okay, so we can totally head back home now. We have an extra piece of considerate. And we can start making some tools. And the tools that I've chosen to make are uh, primarily the ones that you can't make from stone. Um, because metal tools, like they really, it really does unlock a lot. There's no one right here. A lot of new um, abilities and just things you can do. Uh, so you know, with a stone, you could make like a hoe, a shovel, um, an axe, a hammer. Um, I'm not sure if I actually made a hammer at any point, but I could have. Um, and you'll notice that like these two tools, these are metal-only tools, but because these are relatively new. I decided to not make any of those. Um, I'm making an axe uh, just because metal axes are, you know, they, they don't break nearly as often as uh, stone ones. But other than that, we have a scythe, um, a chisel, a sword. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Scythe, chisel, sword, axe, and then I think we also have a saw mold. <laughs> um, and that, that should be all five. And the saw mold will just be because uh, I do want to have two of those. I'm getting a little hungry right now. Uh, let's check my nutrition. A little low on fruit, dairy, protein, high on vegetable. Um, how am I on grain? A little... not as strong on grain. So we're gonna have a little bit of grain. Okay. Um, okay, so we are going to actually need to do a number of charcoal pits, because uh, we'll need, hang on, uh, yeah, we're going to need to empty something. Alright, let's take, uh, I got a, an exquisite jasper in here, take all of this cobble out, throw that up here, not really too, you know, worried about organization right now, I will probably come back and fix that later. Um, yeah, we're going to take two of these, leave two of these behind, take that 16, throw all of that up in here. That should be, um, well, this should be 400 units, because 25 times 16 is 400, plus 50, plus 50. So that should equal 500. Good. Okay, so this will take up one slot in our, our little pit kiln over here. Uh, we'll probably want to open up another one. Let's do that right here. So let's grab a bunch of these. 
Okay. I guess we'll do up that saw mold as well. I'm probably going to need it. And then I think we should... The last two slots, because yeah, I don't want to waste them. I don't think we have any bowls, actually, yet. So I believe... Uh, we can just make one to... A couple of those. Yep. Well, four of them. But we're gonna... It's raining. We're gonna fire two of them. And we'll leave the other two in this corner. We have our straw. Our wood. Okay. Eight in there. Eight in there. Eight logs, eight logs, and fire starters in the chest. I remember seeing it All right there. And I'm going to light them. Now, this is a little different. If you guys haven't been keeping up with TFC, although I can't imagine why you wouldn't just because I stopped playing it. Oh, hey, no. Uh, start. Fire starters actually work with like a uh, holding right click now. Come on, you. Oh, there it go. Wow. That. Did I always have seven? Hmm. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, torches are going out. Let's quickly relight them. Alright. Good. Okay. And I will be back when the charcoal pit finishes. So I will see you then. Okay, guys. The first pit kiln has finished. So just gonna break that like that. Oh, and there goes the second one. Thank you. Okay, let's start with with the sword. Get that out of the way, then the chisel. And the scythe. The axe, and we're going to end with the uh, the saw. Okay, it is best to get to this, um, you know, as soon as the pit uh, the pit kiln finishes. Because if you wait ten minutes uh, in real time, your uh, the liquid in your your vessel here is gonna solidify. It's not loud frogs, um, but you guys, it's raining really hard. Like, look at this. It's already rained with like eight thousand millibuckets, and that's like just since I left you uh, a few hours ago. That's a little. Anyway, I think my house is gonna get flooded. Like, there's like nearly a meter of water. It's uh, fell. Uh, anyway, um, so we have all of these new tools. Oh, there's a there's a uh, vacuum in the background. Which of course, you know, holidays and having having uh, family over and stuff. You gotta you gotta clean the house, right? So hopefully, it is not too much of a problem. But you know, what can you do? Anyway, um, so we have all these new tools. Yeah, we got Carpenter Achievement, uh, which I guess I didn't do the uh, get last time because um, when I made like, like the first tool I made was a saw, and so like because you need to have already made a tool before you make the saw to get the carpenter. Any anyway, I uh, got the chisel, the sword, and the scythe. So the sword is going to be really useful. Like you see that 220 slashing damage compared to like 60 on this thing. So it's like nearly 40 times better. Uh, four times better. Whoa. Four times better. Oh, getting a little hungry here. Let's snack on some potato. Yum. Okay. And I think... I don't have any logs. Because we just used them all. I'm going to throw the finished charmic bowls right down there. 
Uh, and now we are properly equipped, I believe, to go out here. Um, we do have this brand spanking new axe. Let's, uh, let's test it out. I can do it on this tree right here. Actually, we have the scythe. Um, so let's not do this tree because this tree is really tall. <laughs> Uh, which I guess is a little counterintuitive when you want wood. Um, to demonstrate the scythe, I'll throw a torch down quickly. It's going to go out, I believe, because of the rain. Um, but until then, I can show you that, uh, you know, before we've been breaking all these leaves by hand, with the scythe, we can actually do it much, much faster. I hear. Hey, friend. Oh, I hear a, a skeleton. Um, skeletons, not nearly as fun to deal with. Uh, with the sword. Um, skeletons don't like maces, uh, so if you have one of those, you can smash them up pretty good. But a sword, not as not as good. Um, skeletons take bonus damage from crushing attacks. I think I, I think I explained this before. And zombies uh, take bonus damage from slashing. Um, so this bronze sword is going to be great against zombies, uh, not so much against these skeletons here though. Uh, and you can't range skeletons. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but piercing piercing weapons, um, skeletons are nearly immune to piercing. Or like you have to de deal like 500,000 damage at once to be able to to deal damage to them. So it's, it, it's you know, essentially immune. I see his little quiver. Hey, no, hey, whoa, da, don't, don't, no, don't shoot me. How dare you try to shoot me. I see you. Pretty tall. He's taller than I am. Okay, but I, yeah, he's not gonna burn up in the, in the daylight. I really wanna get that wood. Because <laughs> I need a new tool rack. Uh, if I didn't explain that. That is what I am attempting here is to get a tool rack. Um, I guess now that we have a saw, we could really start replacing the walls in this house, you know? Because um, you get eight, uh, eight lumber, which is what it's called now, lumber, from um, each of these logs, and you only need four to make a plank block. We could actually, you know, substitute each of these and get four lumber from each one by replacing it with the uh, the same plank block. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, I kind of like the beam, the beam look we have going overhead here. So I don't think I'll take this out. In fact, I might actually when I when I do expand to a second floor, I may just like you know, I think I'm actually gonna like, use these the like the lumber. I'm gonna put like slatted floor um, between the beams. It's gonna look kind of cool. Well, I think. Okay. Um, I don't hear him anymore. Hello? Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, hey there. See, I can kill you. There you go. Nice. Collect some of the sticks. Oh, yeah, these torches went out, so I'm actually going to relight it and then break it so I can actually collect it. Okay, and we're going to chop down this tree. It's a lot faster with the bronze axe. Still not terribly fast if you want to compare it to vanilla. Um, but way faster than it was before. Okay, so we're going to get some aspen planks. I'm only going to get eight right now. Because all I really wanted was that tool rack. Excuse me. Uh, and we can totally, I guess, over the next, uh, this episode and next episode, we can start to talk about, um, oh, that contrast there kind of sucks. Talk about the new tools. So you can throw that up, uh, throw this up, because I don't really need it right now, and that, and that. I usually keep a prospector's pick, a pickaxe, and a bronze sword with me generally at all times. Um, morning fog. Hey, the rain stopped. Yep, full barrel. Um, and that's just because, you know, pickaxe, uh, it's nice to be able to 
cut through stone. Um, prospector's pick because, uh, I don't know, that's just generally, when you have a pickaxe, you kind of want a prospector's pick. And the sword, <laughs> well, just because I don't want to die. Oop, hey, no. Okay, so how are we doing on time here? Uh, okay, it looks like we're probably about 20? 20, 20 minutes into the episode, maybe? We still have a bit of time, though. I think we were planning like 25 or 30 minute episodes. Uh, we'll, I think we'll do... I think we'll do like 30. Okay. Um, so we can start talking about some of these cool new tools. <laughs> uh, let's start with... I mean, we already did the uh, the scythe. Let's do the chisel here. Um, so the chisel has a number of features. Uh, qu quite a lot. Uh, I do need a hammer though. So if we haven't made one of those yet, we will be making one right now. Take two of the scabro. Okay, inventory is getting pretty full. Okay, so we need a hammer on the hotbar for this to work. Um, and we're going to... Okay, we're going to see this mode right here. You see that? Next to my jug, right there we have a little symbol just popped up, uh, similar to when we were using the hoe before. Oop, and you can see the little highlight box. That is uh, called smoothing. So when we do that, we can uh, turn these uh, raw stone into smooth stone. So mine that out. Oop. Smooth Gabbro. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned before about um, the difference between. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure if I did. Let's talk about it now. So we have raw stone and smooth stone. Uh, in vanilla, you would usually just can like refer to the stone you get in the ground as smooth stone. But here, uh, because we have the chisel, there's a difference. So the raw stone is just this stone, the way it looks naturally, and we're going. I'm going to show you actually how you can extract it. So what we want to do is we want to break all of the blocks on all six of the faces, and that will pop it off as just gabbro. And actually, there is a recipe <laughs> that I am looking to uh, to make. So I will actually get two more of these. Rice grain. Why do I have rice grain? Oh, rice. See, it looks different than oat grain. <laughs> okay. That uh, confused me for a second. Uh, I thought I said rice flour, which would be a little weird because we're making right now the uh, equipment we need to make flour. Um, so yeah, you'll notice you, we could not make this before we had the chisel. Uh, we, this is not complete yet. We actually do need two more of these. And we're going to put it right up there in that top slot. So uh, it may be a little confusing right now, but I hope, I promise it'll, it'll all make sense in a, uh, in a second. Okay. And final block. Yep. And we'll just do this one because this one looks pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. So that last recipe was just um, three smooth stone along the bottom. Now we're going to take three raw stone and a stick, make a hand stone. Yep. Okay. Open door. Throw this up here. Okay, so now you can see we have the little handstone up top. We're gonna open this up. Um, probably let's throw... Oh, that's starting to decay. Cut that off. Okay. And then we're going to throw our oat grain up here. You can see it just fl uh, oop. Hey. Where'd you go? Whatever. 
We get the achievement, the grind. Okay, and that's gonna get us oat flour. Um, I'm not sure. Did we have, do we have a bucket somewhere? Oh, I didn't explain the, how the barrel works either. Man, so so bad today. Okay, so bucket should not matter what type of uh, wood you use. So that's just this shape. Any any type of lumber, it's gonna get you a bucket. Um, let's grab a saw so I can show you how to make the barrel. Ooh. Okay. Throw that back. So the barrel recipe is just like that. It has to be all the same type of wood because the uh, the barrel is typed, uh, or it you know it's has the same type of uh, wood that it was made from. So this was a I believe a hickory barrel, and we have a wooden bucket here. And normally, we would like uh, you know okay pick up fresh water here, like throw it back down, or because we can't actually place it on the ground, like nothing happens. You know, it just goes away. Uh, we're going to need a <laughs> much more expensive type of bucket to get that sort of functionality. Um, oh, I'm getting a little hungry. Okay, um, so this has in mode. If we take it to out mode, we can take water out. Back to in mode. Uh, similarly, if we took a drink here. We can do the same thing with our water jug. So that's pretty useful. That means that uh, you can actually use these barrels to as a uh, portable source of water. Uh, to move them around, though, um, we do have to press seal. Have to break the barrel. Oh, pick it up. It'll say it'll say over oh, uh, overburdened. Throw that on our back, and now we can run around. All right, um, I'm actually going to put it right back where I found it, though. Or, you know, close. And we're going to unseal it. Okay, now the reason I actually wanted this bucket, though, is because we want fresh water and our new flour. That's going to get us dough. And we should... I mean, I, have I not made a uh, fire pit yet? Wow. Let's do that right here. I'm pretty sure these can't burn down your house. I mean, like, I, I wouldn't put it past box, but I doubt it. All right, so we're going to throw our oat dough right up here. See, it says cold. I guess we haven't done any cooking so far. Wow. So far behind. Oh yeah, no, this episode's gonna go, this episode's incredibly long right now. Oh well. Oops, so it's getting hot. So another log on there. Very hot. See the little red bar at the top. And there it goes, okay. Uh, very light is, I think, what I wanted. Let's actually let's cook some potato as well. Um, I have I do have a knife on me. I do have some of this as well. I'm gonna make a some of these. Don't want to let that potato burn. How are you doing? warm yeah huh okay so this is a meal preparation table we're gonna throw our because this is just something I want to do before we go um, hope I don't hopefully we'll have enough food food groups for this I'm not actually sure uh, it looks like we only have potatoes and grains right now yeah we, may, we might not cook potato medium Potato sandwich. Can I? No, I can't put grains in there. <laughs> Didn't think so. Nope. Um, we really only have potatoes. That is unfortunate. I have a bunch of stuff over in the uh, the garden, but it's not ready yet. Oh well. Hey, we need to relight a lot of this. Uh, but we are getting really close. Will be the end of the episode. So you can see we're actually trying to make a sandwich. 
Uh, could have made a salad. This is, you're not using the bread for the salad. A sandwich would have been nice. That potato's cooling down. Okay, so let's turn on the lights just for a moment. All right, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a long time. I will try to get a few more recorded either today or over the next few days so that we can have a, you know a little bit more of like a, a regular upload schedule <laughs> for at least a little bit. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, subscribe if you haven't. That really helps me out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.